School's out at Queanbeyan High, but students and parents aren't happy. My foster daughter, she needs help, so I'm at school, so there's no one going to be home to help her with her schoolwork. I've got one at home at the moment who's learning from home, and he's just like, oh, he's not happy about it, he's in Year 9. Students in Year 7 to 10 will be at school for three days a week and have two days of remote learning. Year 11 and 12 students will be with teachers four days a week and will have online lessons on the 5th. We are feeling a little bit uh, worried about these things because my son is in year 11 and he needs a full-time teaching. The situation has been brought on by the school being unable to fill some permanent positions and has been exacerbated by staff absences due to COVID. It's been coming for some time. The high school has already combined classes, used casual teachers, reduced the number of classes in the core curriculum for each year level and cut down supervision at lunchtimes. In the electorate of Monaro, there were already 36 permanent vacancies of staff as a result of the teacher shortage. That was in October last year. Well, it's not acceptable that high school students do not have the opportunity to learn in their classroom every day of the week. Queanbeyan High has been hit particularly hard by the teacher shortage, but it's not alone in suffering from the issue. The latest figures show there are 2,383 teacher vacancies across New South Wales public schools. The government itself has its own briefings that clearly state that unsustainable workloads and uncompetitive salaries are the causes of the teacher shortages. We are working with a very strong strategy to increase our recruitment. We have certainly increased, um, well, I think it's about 3,000 teachers in the last 12 months. It's not known how long the changes will have to be in place at Queanbeyan High, but after several years of disrupted lessons, students are keen to spend more time in the classroom. Peter Lusted, ABC News, Canberra.